What's going on, movie fans? My name is Michael Weir. I love talking about movies, and we're officially in the 12th and final month of 2023. That's right, it's December 1st, which means we're going to talk about the final movies releasing in 2023. Now, I've been making these videos for the past 12 months, and I've really enjoyed doing it. And if you've watched any of these videos, and you've hit the like button on any of them, or commented on any of them, thank you so much. The interaction from you guys means a lot to me. It helps the channel a lot, and I just appreciate anybody taking time to watch me talk about movies. Now, I've had to say it on everyone of these videos and I'm going to say it again if there's a movie that I leave off this list because maybe it's streaming somewhere I didn't realize or this movie schedule is really getting shuffled around so I may miss something if I do throw that in the comment section down below let me know what I missed let me know what you're looking forward to or if I talk about these movies and you're excited about one or a bunch of them let me know which ones you're excited about which ones you're going to take time to watch in the theater with all that said though guys let's get into the December 2023 upcoming movie releases Now on December 1st, guys, we get three movies. The first is a movie we talked about last month, so I'll just quickly cover it here. It is Dream Scenario opening wide on December 1st. We talked about it last month. I was very hyped to see it last month, and then I realized it was a limited release nowhere near my area, but it is coming near my area on December 1st, and I'm looking forward to checking it out that weekend. Of course, it's Nicolas Cage showing up in other people's dreams, and I thought it was going to be a horror movie, but it's actually being billed as a comedy. People saying Nicolas Cage is hilarious, but with Nicolas Cage, it might be a horror movie, and he's just hilarious in it so i'm still looking forward to it regardless of what we're getting just nicholas cage showing up in people's dreams that's enough for me i'm excited the next movie releasing on december 1st is going to be silent night silent night stars joel kinnaman whose family is killed by a bunch of gangsters and he has to go after them but when they attacked his family they also attacked him and he lost the ability to speak so the movie calls silent night because he's gonna go kill them all at night and he can't speak so he's very silent the movie looks like a shoot 'em up action movie i'm very much so looking forward to it gonna go with my little brother we're gonna go see it we like to see hyper violent movies together i think this year we saw john wick sai Zhu, and the equalizer three those are the movies we saw and john wick was hyper violent the other two were a bit of a letdown for both of us so i'm hoping silent night just kind of brings it home and it's a great movie i'm looking forward to it the final movie releasing on december 1st is actually my most anticipated movie of december and that is godzilla minus one now godzilla ever since i was a little kid has been one of my favorite monsters to see on the screen i love those monster movies those big kaiju movies the pacific rim movies do it for me i love watching godzilla fight other monsters or in this case godzilla Godzilla being the monster, showing up after World War II and just wreaking havoc over people who have nothing, and he just shows up and makes them minus one. Or at least that's what I got out of the trailers. This movie looks like Godzilla is going to be the big bad of the movie, and those are the kind of Godzilla movies that I really dig. I like when Godzilla is the villain, when the people are versus Godzilla, not monster versus monster. I mean, I like those movies. But I like when Godzilla is the focus, and that looks like what we're getting here. I'm very much so excited about Godzilla Minus One. I cannot wait to see it. That's going to be a review that I can't wait to make, because I know I'm just going to enjoy watching Godzilla on the screen. On December 8th, guys, we get one movie. It is called Poor Things, and it stars Emma Stone as Bella Baxter, a woman who's brought back to life by a doctor played by Willem Dafoe. It, it looks weird and quirky in the previews, and it just looks like something that I'll really love. Uh, I loved Willem Dafoe earlier this year in the movie called Inside. Anytime he gets zany, he gets crazy. It's just a movie that has my attention. Plus, Emma Stone, Mark Ruffalo is going to be in this movie as well. It's just, it looks like a good cast, and it looks like a fun premise. I'm hoping to have a fun time with it. On December 15th, guys, we're getting Wonka. Wonka's a movie starring Timothy Chalamet as Willy Wonka, and this is a complete reboot remake of the Willy Wonka movie starring Timothy Chalamet. And it's not a movie that I'm very much so looking forward to, but it's definitely a movie that I will take my kids to. Like, I think they'll enjoy it. Look, it's a movie all about candy and singing and dancing. They're going to like that. So Wonka comes out on the 15th. Are you going to check this one out? Because again, I, if I didn't have kids... I wouldn't be checking this one out. On December 22nd, we get four movies releasing. That's going to be a busy weekend for Christmas anyway, but here we go. December 22nd, we're getting four movies, the first of which is Aquaman 2. Aquaman, of course, starring Jason Momoa, the absolute final movie in the DCEU before it moves on to being the DCU. And I know I've said that a couple of times with Blue Beetle and both Flash, and, but they've been very unclear about things. But it's very clear now that this Aquaman movie is going to be Jason Momoa's final outing as Aquaman. Aquaman. And I don't know, part of me is looking forward to seeing that, but another part of me just doesn't care. I mean, they really, I think James Gunn and DC really jumped the gun, if I may, by announcing, hey, the DCU is going away. Like, it has definitely affected the box office with Flash and it affected the box office with Blue Beetle, which wasn't a movie I loved, but 
it it was better than what it made at the box office. It should have made more, but nobody's interested now. They're just like, Superman's the next big movie in DC? Gotcha, we'll wait for that. And so this movie's probably gonna suffer at the box office. I'll be surprised if Aquaman 2 can make what Aquaman 1 did at the box office, which broke a billion dollars. I don't know, we'll see. But with that said, that's the first movie coming out. The next movie coming out on December 22nd is Anyone But You. Anyone But You stars Sidney Sweeney and Glenn Powell as two people who I think dated at one point and now they want absolutely nothing to do with each other. They both hate each other's guts, but they have to pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend. And by the end of the movie, they're probably gonna end up falling in love. That's what this movie looks like. It looks like it's gonna be a rom-com. I'm curious to see how far they're gonna go with the jokes because again, they've been a little bit too shy to go that far with comedy lately in movies like comedy is not what it was when I was a teenager it's completely changed now so I'm interested to see what they do with this movie I really like Sidney Sweeney in the Euphoria series and I really like Glenn Powell in the Top Gun Maverick movie so between those two actors I think this movie might be good and I'm looking forward to it the third movie coming out on December 22nd is The Iron Claw The Iron Claw stars Zac Efron and Jeremy Allen White and yeah, I think I'm going to see this movie and anyone but you back to back. I may see this movie first because it feels like it's going to be heavy. It's going to, you know, it's about a family of brothers who wrestle and even one of them's probably going to die. I don't know. The, it's based on a true story. I don't know the true story. I just can kind of tell in the cards like, all right, one of them's probably going to pass away. That's going to be like the sad part of the movie and they're going to have to group together as a family. I could be wrong but that's what it seems like. Anyway, with that said, I'll probably watch that movie first and then I'll go into Anyone But You as sort of like, okay, now I want to laugh a little bit. I think I'm going to do that. The final movie coming out on December 22nd is our Netflix movie of the month. And honestly, Netflix has not produced very many good movies this year. I didn't really like The Killer that came out in November. And honestly, I could say that about every Netflix release that's come out this year. They've just seemed watered down. Like, you've got great directors sometimes or great actors sometimes. And the movies just seem very watered down. I just not very enjoyable. But I am looking forward to the Netflix movie coming out on December 22nd, directed by Zack Snyder. It's called Rebel Moon Part 1, The Child of Fire. And this looks like Zack Snyder's version of Star Wars. Like, he had an idea for a Star Wars movies, and they wouldn't let him make one. He was like, okay, bet. I'll make my own. And so he went and he made Rebel Moon. This movie, the trailers look great. And I bring up the Star Wars reference because there's definitely lightsabers in the trailer, right? They are. The point is, I'm looking forward to Zack Snyder's version of Star Wars. I hope it's great. I really do. And part two comes out in April next year. And I just hope it doesn't have that part one problem that I've had with so many other part ones this year, where it's like, okay, I enjoyed this movie, but I don't know how much I'll really enjoy it until they seal it and send it home next year. We'll see how it goes. With that said, though, Rebel Moon comes out on December 22nd on Netflix. You can watch it from your home. I will be watching it right over there with all the lights off down here. Really looking forward to Rebel Moon. The final movie on my list coming out in December that I'm looking forward to watching is Ferrari starring Adam Driver as Enzo Ferrari, a race car driver turned entrepreneur who pushes himself to the limit, pushes his cars to the limit to have the fastest race car in the world. Adam Driver just consistently brings it and I was so disappointed with 65 earlier this year. I needed a better Adam Driver movie and it looks like that's what we're going to get out of here. Ferrari comes out on the 25th. I can't wait to see it. Are you going to check it out? I may even go skip out. Out on some family things on Christmas and go watch this movie in theaters on Christmas Day. I might go do that. Yeah, I'm a savage. With that said though, guys, were there any movies that I left off this list? If there were, let me know in the comment section down below if you're looking forward to those movies or if you're looking forward to the movies I talked about. Again, throw those down there in the comment section. Let me know if you're going to see any of them in the theater. And finally, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps the video. It helps the channel. And it helps me right here. Thanks for watching. And now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. I don't know why I ended it that way. It's December. It's Christmas time. I got a Christmas tree. Let's go. All right, guys, we get to the end of the December 2023 upcoming movie release video. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, don't forget to do that because all of the movies I just talked about, I will be trying to do full reviews for here on this channel so we can talk about those movies more and more over the upcoming month. And finally, guys, at the end of the year, I'm going to be dropping all kinds of ranked videos and I'd love for you to check those out. But until then, if you want to check out any other content on my channel, maybe you want to see other upcoming movies that were in 2023 and maybe you missed them. Well, I've got all of my upcoming movie releases right there. And if you want to check out the end of month ranked list where I put all the movies in order from worst to best, well, you can click right there.